Right now, it's day three of the Marshawn Giles murder trial as jurors see video of Giles' alleged erratic behavior the day a toddler was killed. Alert day conditions are just 24 hours away during this newscast. We'll break down each bout of thunderstorms. And how students and UW-Madison campus police are getting ready for the annual Mifflin Street Block Party. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for staying with us at 5, everyone. Here's a live look at the sky cam tonight. It's quiet across southern Wisconsin. A beautiful spring day. But that will be changing very soon. Alert days are in the forecast for this weekend. Possibilities of some severe weather. For more on what we're tracking, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Our first warm forecast, Alex. Yes, Eric and Susan, you wouldn't think with what I have behind me here as we plan your evening, a gorgeous evening. This is that calm before the stormy conditions take hold as we go on into your Friday. So enjoy quiet for a while because the next couple of days are not going to be on the quiet side. Alert day conditions, which we started mentioning last Friday, if I do my math correctly, heavy rain, possible strong storms throughout the entire weekend. During this newscast, I'm going to break each of these weather um, bouts of thunderstorms down this last Friday evening clear through your Sunday. Bout number one, looking at a marginal risk of severe weather from Madison and points towards the south and west. This includes Platteville, Dodgeville, Monroe, Prairie du Chien, Richland Center. This would be for isolated hail and maybe some strong winds as we go into the thunderstorms later on your Friday going on into your Friday evening. Day number two, Saturday. I think this is going to be the most impactful of all three of those days. All severe weather hazards would be possible on your Saturday. And then Sunday, more over the southwestern portion of the state. Madison, Monroe, Janesville, Beloit, off towards the west, towards Lone Rock and Platteville and Prairie du Chien. Again, all severe weather hazards would be possible on Sunday as well. We'll talk about what that wild card is, that ingredient that we need for widespread severe weather that could limit severe weather if we have too much of it, that ingredient coming up. Alex, thank you. It is day three of the jury trial for Marshawn Giles, the Madison man accused of killing a toddler back in 2022. Our Maddie Heimsch is in the courtroom all week and she joins us with the latest. Day three of the trial is now complete, the state having called several witnesses to the stand Thursday. During the afternoon, the state presented several ring video recordings from inside the toddler's mother's apartment from April of 2022. The video show a man, allegedly Giles, walking around the apartment holding a handgun, at times pointing it at others in the apartment. Court officials estimate giving closing arguments and handing the case to the jury on Friday. I'll be providing live updates on our app and on channel 3000 com all week. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Thank you, Maddie. And to find the latest details, download our news app. You can find it in the, your app store for free. Just search WISC TV. As the Mifflin Street block party is expected to return for another year this weekend, law enforcement in the area is preparing to respond to large crowds and excessive drinking. Our Catherine Merck joins us live on the block where this large gathering will take place. She has more tonight from police. Catherine. Eric and Susan, Madison police say they expect 10,000 people, most of them being UW-Madison students, to fill the street behind me on Saturday. Leaders with the department say they plan to have 150 extra officers ready to respond to potential issues that have come up in the past. That includes underage drinking, noise complaints, overcrowding, and property damage. In previous years, the department made it known that it was aiming to put a stop to these kind of celebrations. However, leaders in the department told me they are taking a different view for the upcoming block party at a press conference earlier today. They're looking to help change the event into something safer for students who say it's a huge time they look forward to each year. I would say it's a little bit of both. It's really fun. It can get a little overwhelming. They understand. Many of them that we've met through time have, have recognized the nature of the event and want to try and limit their liability. With some severe weather in the forecast, I asked those same officers at the police department how they're gonna, how that's gonna impact their ability to respond to issues as they pop up. As they told us in the press conference earlier today, they plan to have drones out to take a look at some of the activity that's going on. The department told us they're going to monitor the situation as it happens and watch out for our forecast. So make sure to stick up, uh, stick into our forecast for Alex Harrington's full breakdown later in the newscast. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine. 
Merck, News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, thank you. And looking around the state tonight in Green Bay, students at UW Green Bay have started a petition to fire a professor over what they call transphobic and racist social media posts. As Andrew Amozo found, students are not going to stop fighting, they say, until a change is made. I'm putting my social justice emphasis to use right now. Democracy and Justice Studies student James Harris says he studied under associate professor Andrew Austin. Austin is faculty with the university's Democracy and Justice Studies program. There's a certain point where those opinions become actual problems for students on campus. Harris says they feel posts like this recent one on X, a retweet from notable anti-LGBTQ group Libs of TikTok, have left students feeling unsafe. To teach students how to be adults, how to be functional members of society, it requires an environment where students feel safe, and I feel like that directly opposes that. According to Campus Pride Index, UWGB has a five-star ranking nationally for LGBTQ inclusivity, a ranking displayed on campus walls. Coming here, it was like a total 180 in terms of like everybody on campus was super supportive, super friendly. Emma Embers, a trans female, also studies democracy and justice. I felt safe and now knowing that he's here and seeing the things that he's said, I, I don't necessarily feel that way while he's here because it's not just that he's a student, he's a professor. Embers and Harris say Austin has used the N-word in class, but not directed at students. In a 2008 blog post regarding Reverend Jesse Jackson attacking then-presidential candidate Barack Obama, he uses the word 11 times, saying, quote, we have been reduced to first graders, to those who feel like they can't say and spell out the racial slur. It's not cancel culture, it's accountability. I reached out to Professor Austin about the complaints. He said in a statement, quote, my social media presence is not relevant to my role at this university. I won't participate in furthering cancel culture, end quote. The university also said in a statement, quote, we are aware of the situation and the students' concerns. The process by which students report concerns is being followed and will move forward as appropriate, end quote. A new report from the U.S. Department of Commerce is bringing good news for the economy. According to the report, people spending more on goods signals continued recovery from the pandemic. Most of that spending came in the form of services rather than goods, which actually decreased in spending over the last quarter. Spending increases coupled with an increase in personal income of over $407 billion are driving economists to call this quarter one of the more successful in recent years. Overall, in the inflation conversation, things are really moving in the right direction. You know, what we saw during the pandemic was quite dramatic. Supply chains got snarled up, input costs for companies really skyrocketed, and we saw inflation go up. But that's not where we are today. Despite this, housing prices remain high, and it's unclear if the Fed will cut interest rates anytime soon. With the fall's election getting into swing, many candidates' fundraising is getting started as well. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, has more. Let's take a look at the race for U.S. Senate, which is expected to be one of the most competitive races here in Wisconsin this year. Republican Eric Hovde brought in roughly $9 million, most of that coming through an $8 million loan. On the other hand, Democrat Tammy Baldwin brought in $5.4 million, with $4.7 million coming from contributors. Hovde is contributing one of the largest investments that we've seen a U.S. Senate candidate make to their own campaign in state history, according to an analysis by Wispolitics.com. The other thing to point out here is who that money is coming from. Hovde's small dollar donations, that's anything less than $200, make up around 17% of his total contributions, according to that analysis. For Baldwin, small dollar donors make up about 36% of her contributions. Now you may notice a difference here. Baldwin is the incumbent who's been raising money since January. Eric Hovde got in in February. Baldwin has been outpacing Hovde's fundraising. She raised more than $59,000 per day compared to Hovde, who raised more than $27,000 per day. And we'll get updated fundraising numbers in this race in July. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. In Lodi today, a group of high school students got the chance to become teachers for a day. It's all part of the national Teen Teach-In, a nationwide campaign where high school students are able to teach younger students in the community how to manage their money. The students were given an opportunity to lead an actual class, all while passing on financial literacy to younger students, showing just the basics of saving, spending, and budgeting items from the big kids. Nice to pass along the knowledge you learn to the younger generation, help them understand what's important and you know, what you actually should do with your money instead of just, you know, going and buying a bunch of video games and all that. 
Now, the teen teaching is all part of a project for the nonprofit Jumpstart Coalition for Personal Financial Literacy. Today, staff members of the Madison School District were able to provide a better understanding of the current public education landscape to the public as Madison Public Schools Foundation held its second annual Schools Make Madison Summit. This event allows guests to gain knowledge of the unknown realities that influence and affect public schools giving a deeper sense of appreciation for the accomplishment of educators. Things are going really well in our district. There are a lot of great gains happening. There are lots of reasons to feel energized and optimistic, but there are also lots of different challenges and that our goal today is to help people understand more about what that looks like, but also to give them the tools in order to help us invest in our schools to help support our kids. Nearly 200 community members took part in the event, getting a first-hand glimpse of how the future of MMSD classrooms serve the community. Looking ahead now at 5 this Saturday, the Sun Prairie Police Department will host a prescription drug take-back day. That day allows people to safely get rid of unwanted and unused medications and also allows a chance for local officials to educate their communities on the dangers of improper storage and disposal of drugs. It'll run Saturday, as we mentioned, 9 in the morning until 1 p.m. at Sun Prairie City Hall. That's 300 East Main. Main Street for a full list of drug take back day locations and what is allowed to be taken back. Just head to our website, the story linked at channel3000.com. And still to come, Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington rejoins us a complete look at your first warn forecast. And a shocking decision from a New York appeals court related to the 2020 conviction of former Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. We'll have that story coming up at 5. Red numbers in Thursday trading on Wall Street. The Dow tumbling some 375 points. The NASDAQ loses 101. S&P 500 down 23. We'll be right back. Seriously injured? Don't wait to get the help you need. We've been successfully helping injured Wisconsinites for over 35 years. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you tires and batteries, trust and care, because we get you. So get out on the road and stay safe with quality automotive parts and service at unbeatable prices. Like buy three tires, get one free. Plus up to $100 consumer rebate on select Goodyear tires when you buy four. 10% off all Carl Star lawn and garden and trailer tires or Laren inner tubes. And rewards members save $5 on Blaine's brand gold automotive batteries. Tires and batteries, trust and care at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Birkenstock ushers in a new collection with clean lines, easier than ever closures, and the most necessary footbed in your closet. Slide into Morgan Shoes and shop our new Birkenstock arrivals. See what's fresh for spring and summer. Birkenstock platforms and wedges, cork-powered sneakers, or up your game with our iconic men's and women's sandals. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. Having whiter teeth is more important than ever with social media. Don't get caught with yellow teeth. Get power swabs and you'll be sure you always look your best. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power Swab has made a really big difference in lifting the stains and making my smile more beautiful. This is a power swap smile. This is a power swap smile. Go online or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Gruber Law Offices has been winning for people injured in truck accidents for more than 35 years. One call, that's all. Thunderstorms, some severe with heavy rain, are possible Friday night through the weekend. How much rain you can expect? Then Sauk County residents take on the county board for the future of an assisted living facility. Here the heated debate of privatization. That's tonight at 6. 
Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. And welcome back in a dramatic legal plot twist. The sex crimes conviction of Harvey Weinstein, once considered the most powerful producer in Hollywood, has been overturned by a New York appeals court. Laura Aguirre has more on the unexpected ruling and what reasons the appeals court gave for its decision. The stunning reversal comes four years after Hollywood power producer Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in a New York prison on multiple sex crimes, including rape. The seven justice New York appeals court voted four to three to overturn his conviction with appellate judge Jenny Rivera writing that the trial court erroneously allowed testimony of uncharged alleged prior sexual acts against persons other than the complainants. During Weinstein's New York trial, three women were allowed to testify against Weinstein as prior bad acts witnesses, telling the court that Weinstein also took sexual advantage of them as they tried to break into the film business. While prior bad acts testimony may be admissible under federal evidence rules to prove intent or motive, judges have wide discretion to determine what is or is not relevant or is too prejudicial. Judge Rivera wrote that the court compounded its mistakes by letting Weinstein, who had no criminal history prior to his conviction, to be cross-examined on the women's allegations, painting Weinstein in a highly negative light with jurors. Rivera saying that the synergistic effect of these errors was not harmless. Lawyers for Weinstein, who has consistently maintained his innocence, had this to say about Thursday's ruling. That's how important this case is, that America will uphold the laws of this land for everyone. No one's above the law, but no one's beneath the law either. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office says it plans to retry the case. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Weinstein's defense attorney said today that Weinstein will remain jailed in New York through any new trial proceedings before he'd have to return to Los Angeles to address his legal issues in that state. He was convicted of rape and sexual assault in 2022 and sentenced to 16 years there. Well, let's get a look now at your first one forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington rejoins us. Alex? Yeah, thanks, Eric. A beautiful evening tonight, so let's relish in that before things change in 24 hours. Temperatures slipping down into the upper 40s by the time you join us for our 10 o'clock newscast. So enjoy this nice evening because changes are on the way. Alert day conditions will begin as we go into your Friday evening, lasting through your Sunday. Heavy rain and several bouts of strong thunderstorms are expected with all severe weather hazards possible this entire weekend. Let's track this number one threat here would be Friday evening. Madison and points to the south and west, Platteville, Lone Rock, Monroe. You stand the chance of an isolated severe storm. I'm not as concerned about Friday night as I am about some of our other weather potential here. Saturday is the day that I think will be the busiest for southern Wisconsin severe weather wise. I'll explain that ingredient in just a moment. All hazards would be possible on your Saturday. All hazards are possible on your Sunday, but the greater risk is for Madison, Lone Rock and points towards the south and towards the west as it looks like right now, which I'll show you here on future track as to why. Thunderstorms, showers breaking out late in your Friday morning, widespread showers and thunderstorms as we go on into your Friday night. I still think we'll see a little lull in the wee hours of your Saturday morning, but here's why Saturday stands a greater chance of seeing that severe weather. Notice we don't see a lot of green across southern Wisconsin. This is the allowing that heat to build up through the daytime. Temperatures climbing into the 70s. The humidity will start to come up. You'll feel it on your Saturday. And watch this line of thunderstorms break out over portions of southwestern and west central Wisconsin, sweeping towards the east as it looks like right now. This would be 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, possibly lasting till midnight on your Saturday. All severe weather hazards would be possible again on your Saturday, including tornadoes. On Sunday, we have widespread storms in the morning, but the latest weather models coming in right now, at least this indication here, showing us that we could be looking at another break in the shower and thunderstorm activity, and that's that ingredient that allows the atmosphere to rev back up again for yet another line of thunderstorms to come through Sunday evening, going on into your Sunday overnight. 
Finally, by the time we get to your Monday, this weather system wraps up, but it will still be on the breezy side. Let's break this down. That's a lot of information. I'm not as concerned about Friday. There is the potential for an isolated severe storm or two. Again, those showers and storms developing in the morning with perhaps a break Friday night. I have my eyes really more on my attention here on Saturday going on into your Sunday. All hazards would be possible, and that ingredient, if we get enough heat, that would be sunshine, even just dry time on Saturday and Sunday. If that occurs, start thinking in the back of your head here that the threat of severe weather may be increasing on both Saturday going on into your Sunday and heavy rain, plenty of it. This has not changed at all. Widespread one, two, if not three inch amounts across southern Wisconsin. Now, this is a good time to remind folks we love to see your weather photos, but just a reminder, uh, don't risk any safety to take these photos over the weekend. The photos that we get of the sunrises and the sunsets, those are beautiful, but always, always, always be in the safe side when you take those weather pictures. All right, let's just recap your seven to 10 day forecast, alert day conditions through the weekend, but staying active next week. We may have a couple of alert day conditions next week that we'll continue to monitor. All right, a little bit of traffic time here. Looks like we do have an incident that we want to just take a quick peek at. Let's see what's going on here on the Beltline. This slowdown here on the Beltline going eastbound here. This is, uh, excuse me, westbound crash at exit 259 near Todd Drive might cause a bit of uh, slowness here uh, if you're heading westbound on the Beltline. Down towards Janesville, how are things doing? Fine and dandy. We're going at a decent clip at 70 miles per hour and around 70 miles per hour north and west near the Dells. Mark and Susan, this time tomorrow night, though, the windshield wipers will be moving. Heavy rain and thunderstorms will be likely at this point tomorrow. Thanks, oh. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead, hard help in the NFL has been put in the spotlight after a scary scene during a game. We'll tell you how the league is taking new steps to try and prepare responders next. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Win a hand paint jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Jeep Grand Cherokee and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. <sighs> <sighs> want fresh air. <laughs> you need the experts. Right now with Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great, looks even better. And I did this to my father, we were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, 
I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Win a hand paint jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells and you'll have a chance to win a new Jeep Grand Cherokee and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. All right, there it is. They're excited in Motown. A live look at Detroit. The NFL draft inching closer and closer. Are, are, is that people in that? Yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's like got to be the whole population of Detroit right there. First round is 7 o'clock. It kicks off tonight. It'll run all the way through Saturday. And with football season right around the corner, well, it's a little ways around the corner. Heart health has taken more significance in the league. We all remember the incident with Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin suffering a cardiac arrest during a game. That was back in early January of 2023. Wendy Gillette has more from New York on how Hamlin has become an ambassador now to improve the response to cardiac emergencies. <laughs> Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin, has returned to life as normal, on and off the field. But now, part of his daily routine revolves around his heart, after he suffered cardiac arrest during a game in Cincinnati in January 2023. Make sure you take preventative measures, you know, get screening and, you know, just check up on your health, but also know the, you know, reactive measures. <laughs> Hamlin recently took part in an event in New York City as captain of Heartmates, a partnership with the medical device company Abbott to build a community of those who know the struggle of heart conditions, including eight-year-old Tony Daly from Las Vegas, who underwent surgery to close a hole in his heart when he was born premature. We like to think of him as our miracle baby and as a way of spreading it back to everybody that uh, may be in a similar situation. Hamlin's cardiac arrest on the field helped a national TV audience see the importance of access to defibrillators and learning how to perform CPR. You could learn CPR and you know you can save a life You're just as good as Superman. Cardiologists say it's also imperative to keep your heart healthy so emergency steps won't be needed. The simple stuff really matters and so blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, staying active, not smoking, eating a healthy diet, maintaining good stress levels, sleeping well. That resonates with Lakeisha Brown from Houston who developed advanced heart failure and received an Abbott heart device. She sees how Hamlin's heart crisis has improved awareness. People are becoming more aware. They're not feeling well, that type of thing. They'll go to the doctor, I think, a little bit more. She knows firsthand that taking action is vitally important to recovery. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. Hamlin is visiting hospitals across the nation to raise awareness about heart conditions. We'll get a final check of your first warrant forecast when we come back. Join Dr. Ashish M. Ravel on May 2nd at 5.30 p.m. to learn about the causes of shoulder pain and pain relief options. To register for the free online educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Save big money with these hot deals at Menards. All prices after 11% rebate. River Pebble Landscape Rock is $2.48. Get these paint brushes for just $1.99 each. This three-panel LED garage light bulb is just $1.99. And a jug of windshield washer fluid is only $1.49. These hot deals won't last long. Hurry in before time runs out. Sign up for Menards emails to get more hot deals. Plus the weekly flyer right to your inbox. Save big money at Menards. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Rewards Club members at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison can get a ticket for a promotional drawing by visiting the Rewards Club booth. Promotional drawings can be either physical or virtual tickets. 
Physical tickets will be placed in a drawing barrel, while virtual tickets can be redeemed at a promotional kiosk. Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison and grab your tickets at the Rewards Club booth today. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison! Who is she talking to? It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dr. Robel is one of the best. I mean, you can't ask for any other person in orthopedics that I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of people in orthopedics, let me tell you. Ortho team and Dr. Robel are wonderful. Alex is back. Final check of the forecast. Yes, 24 hours from now, things start changing in the weather department. We have alert day conditions Friday night lasting through the weekend. We've been talking about that for days. The rainfall is also going to be very prevalent with the system. Heavy rainfall, one, two, if not three inches of rain across much of southern Wisconsin. We need the rain. We just don't need it to all come down all at once after our alert day conditions end. Next week is looking stormy at times, too. All right, well, we're back with more updates in 30 minutes on News 3 Now at 6. The CBS Evening News is next.